culminated in his dismissal. Some people have spoken about political interference, you know, uh, when it comes to which party. Let's not forget that, for example, when a coach is brought in, it is government that, that pays, uh, you know, whatever tens of thousands of dollars must be paid, you know, to, to the manager, like we've seen with Milovan, who has now uh, taken over. So that element is always there, the, the interference, so to speak, in, in football. Some have also suggested, like you're rightly saying, that we don't prepare them enough. Yeah, sure. I've heard people say that, look, I mean, Kato Kraku, when he was campaigning, he spoke about the fact that uh, some local coaches, those best performing, maybe the, the best coach and all of that, they would get some training among others. We don't know what has happened to that. So it appears uh, we are not really giving the local coaches that sort of grounding that they may need to be able to, to excel, which then... Uh, puts them in quite a tricky spot when it comes to foreign coaches who have access to, to, to such benefits. Yeah, you are quite right. Like mm. how I, I said to you, we didn't prepare him very, very well, you mm. know. And uh, he, he found himself in a situation he couldn't resist, you know. If you'd have empowered him with more coaching because more knowledgeable things, he should have come very, very powerful and very, very strong. He will mm. not listen to anybody. He take his own decisions, take his own program make everything and select his own players when he feels he, he hold him responsible but, but, but hold it right there we've seen the foreign coaches come and make requests and say yes i want this i want that i want this player to play but even they have suffered from the chronic you know illness of oh that player must play i mean it it, it happens within the system i've heard talk of you know players who have even been surprised that they got collapse and and all of that uh, do the managers have that control when it comes to whom they call up and, and all that beyond the FA, beyond the, polit the politics of it, do they really have that leeway? Yeah, f you cannot take away football politics from our job, you know, some, you, you might have some interference but it's up to you, the coach, you know, to be a little bit more stiffer and more stronger on your decision making mm. because in the end it bounces back to you. So if you don't get it right, you know, you get your head being chopped off and that happened to CK at the moment, you know. Uh, he couldn't resist, you know. Uh, we, we didn't know what happened there. He said uh, interference and other things, but uh, he is the only person who can come out and, and share the experience that he has uh, there for us. Because it, it can also be our turn one day, can also be in the national, you know, as a national coach, and uh, those things must be in our experience and we can, we can, we can resist. Uh, but, you know, I, I feel very, very sad for him, mm. you know, because he didn't enjoy uh, his coaching duties. He didn't send us to any AFCON and he didn't any work up and it's been a setback for him. He has to uh, re-energize and uh, get a good name again and start his job again. So once again, he's, he's very, very disappointed to see CK going. But, you know, football and uh, our job is uh, hiring and firing. Mm. So when you find yourself in that in that position, you have to accept it, organize yourself, and make sure that it rebounds again. Okay.